Hi friends, here is a basic problem that came in uh, JE Mains 2019. This is based on greatest stringent function and absolute value of function. We are given this function when x is between minus 1 to 1 something, 1 to 2 something, 2 to 3 something. Right. Now, when is this function continuous or discontinuous? That is the question. Okay. So, minus 1 to 1. What is uh, absolute value of x? This is equal to minus x if x is negative. Right. Otherwise, x if x is positive. Right. Now, minus 1 to 1. That means between minus 1 to 0, it is negative and 0 to 1, it is positive. Right. Now, let us break this part, this part into two parts. That is minus 1 less than or equal to x less than 0 and 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. Okay, this one. What happens to x when x is negative? Uh, greatest uh, absolute value of x, this becomes minus x. Right. And what happens to this one? This one, this is 0 and this is minus 1. Anywhere in between, greatest danger function of x is minus 1. So, this is minus 1. Now, we are coming talking about somewhere here. Okay. Here, x is positive. So, this becomes x. What about this one? This becomes 0. Right. When x is lying between 0 and 1, greatest danger function of is 0. So, that is x plus 0. Right. We have broken this into two parts. That is what we have written here minus x1 minus 1, when it is less than 0, between minus 1 and 0, equals to x, when it is between 0 and 1. Similarly, this one, this one between 1 and 2, x is anyway positive, so this becomes x plus x, which is 2x. What about this one? x plus greatest stranger function of x. Now, between 2 and 2 less than or equal to x less than 3. Please note, not equal to. Right, x is slightly lesser. Let's say, for example, 2.9. Right, 2.9 greatest change of function of x is still 2. But at 3, it will become exact 3. So, this, that's why they are breaking this one into two parts. 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 and x equals to 3. Right. Now, this one will become x plus until when x is less than, lying between 2 and less than 3, it should be equal to 2. Greatest change of function of x is 2. At this point, it becomes x plus when x equal to 3, this is 3, 3 plus greatest range function of x is 3, that is nothing but 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6. Okay. So that is this one. Between 2 less than or equal to x less than 3, that is x plus 2. And when x becomes 3, this is also 3, this is also 3, that is 6. Right. Now let us draw the graph of all of this. Between minus 1 and 0, it is minus x minus 1. That is this one. We know how to draw the function, draw the graphs, right? Minus x minus 1. When uh, x is 0, y is minus 1, right? And when this is 0, right? Then x is minus 1. When y is 0, x is minus 1, right? So that is this graph. And then between 0 and 1, it is x. That is this graph, 0 and 1. Right. Between 1 and 2, it is 2x. What is 2x? It starts from 2. It goes to 4. Right. 2, 2s are 4. And between 2 and 3, what will happen? This starts with 2 plus 2, which is 4. And it ends at 2, 3 plus 2, which is 5. That is this point. Between 4 and 5, this is 5. Right. It ends at 4 and 5. And when x equal to 3, bends, what is this point? This is actually 6. The point 6. This note, between minus 1 and 0, it is it is this graph, right? At x equal to minus 1, what will happen? y is 0 and x is 0, y is minus 1. So, the graph goes like this. Now, at, from 0 to 1, it goes between 0 to 1, 0 to 1. And 1 to 2, it will go from 2 to 4. That is 2 to 4. This point is 4. And 2 to 3, it will go from 2 plus 2, 4. And 3 plus 2, 5. That is from 4 and to 5. From 2 to 3. And this point is 6. Now we can see clearly where are the discontinuities. At 0, at 0, this is clearly there is a discontinuity. At 1, at 1 also there is a discontinuity. At 3, at 3 also there is a discontinuity. At 2, it is not there because left side and right side both are approaching 4. Right. Except at 2, 0, 
1, 3, all 3 places, there is a discontinuity. So, F is discontinuous at 0, 1 and 3. Right, guys. Simple problem. We need to just apply the basic rules of absolute value function and greatest integer function and see where the function is continuous. Drawing a graph actually helps. Right, guys. Very basic problem. Hope you like this. Thank you.